Okay guys, so I know that this video has been a long time coming. Everybody remembers the photo of me um, sharing my giant stack of thread up boxes. So I finally took the time to sort through everything, get everything kind of organized, and I'm gonna show y'all some of the items that I was able to grab. Um, I don't have like time to be able to show everything because literally it would probably take an hour and this is already going to be a fairly long video probably. So I'm going to show y'all kind of the highlights and then I'll give a breakdown at the end of the video of kind of the number of items that I purchased and everything else. And also, I'm sorry, I'm using a makeshift um, rack to be able to share everything because most of our stuff's in storage and because the house is for sale. So we're going to just roll with it. So I did the shirts first and I separated them out. First one is a brand new a tag, Lucky Brand 1X kind of tank top. Then this is a one teaspoon Lux embroidered shirt. It's really cute. Then I got a Gretchen Scott Designs new with tag tunic top. I thought it was really cute with the peace signs. Then this is just a Weston Wear Anthropology kind of top um, with like ruffle side detail. This is a Tory Burch kind of button up blouse top. This is a uh, Renee Lazard um, classic button up work top. It's kind of a stone brown gray color. And then these are some joie tops. This is joie, also joie, another joie, one more joie, oh, and one more button up joie. I, this is a brand that I personally really love and I love wearing it. It's all good quality and their stuff's really cute for like work wear or just anything. And so I like wearing it. So therefore I like to sell it. Then this is a scotch and soda shirt. It's kind of um, boho style, little free people like. It's got embroidery and the studs, which is really cute. And if you don't know scotch and soda, it's a really good brand right now. It's been selling really well. And I personally love their, their items as well. Okay, and this is another scotch and soda top. It's brand new with tag. Um, it's kind of a metallic pattern. I like it a lot. Um, it was retail for $115. Then this is a Vineyard Vines button-up shirt. And what's funny is, is on their website, they don't show any like real details. So that's like the worst part of shopping there. Um, but it, this shirt has like the silk underneath and not all of their shirts have these and the um, ones who do retail for a little more. So underneath the collar and then on the inside of the sleeves, they have like silk details with like the little um, seahorses so they retail for a little more I've never like resold one that has that so I'm gonna see if it'll like sell for just a little more and we'll see I've never done it before and this is just a like miss me couture top this is kind of a bread and butter kind of thing for me then I got a Frank and Eileen tie-dye button-up shirt and then this is um, American Glamour Badgley Mishka. This is their HSN line. So I've never tried it, but it's really, I'm kind of shocked as to the quality of the item. Um, it's got really cute beading details, um, but it's really a pretty good quality piece. Like the stitching and everything's really nice on it. So I'm hoping that'll do well. Then this is another Frank and Eileen button up shirt. It's um, pink colored. Then this is a, a young, fabulous, and broke kind of sweater, sparkly tank top. A uh, Reese classic kind of black embellished shirt. Then I got an HD in Paris blouse from Anthropology. Another HD in Paris. This is a Hunter Dixon silk blouse. It's kind of sheer. It's really cute. I liked the details and things like that on it. 
This is a silk Broadway and Broom Madewell shirt. It's kind of an orange color. It's in the, on the camera, it's showing up a lot more orange than what it is in real life. It's like a really pretty orange. And then just a Calvin Klein sweater. Um, and this isn't all the tops, but this is just kind of some. And this is like a bread and butter piece. It's really cute and kind of classic with like details and stuff like that. Okay, so these are the dresses that I got from Thread Up. It's not all of them, but it's just kind of a sampling of what I was able to grab. So the first one is a Trina Turk dress. It's kind of a t-shirt dress. It's soft and it's got like a racer back. Really cute. Then a Plenty Tracy Reese dress. It's actually brand new with Tag. And what's funny is, is Tyler bought me this exact same dress from TJ Maxx like last year. And I actually, I love it. I wear it a lot. So it's the Leah dress and it's brand new. This is a Honey Y dress. It's really cute. It's kind of like boho a little bit. I liked it a lot. Um, it's a silk fabric, so that's nice. And then this is a Noah and um, James Badgley Mishka dress. It's like a typical sexy little black dress. It's short. It's got like a flutter sleeve detail. Then this, it's hard to show. Um, it's got pockets. It's a theory silk dress that's strapless. It's really cute. And then this here, it's kind of got like the leather. And this is like a real leather accent. It is Bensoni. And I liked it a lot. It's got like the leather details and things like that. And it's real leather. This is a Christopher Dean dress. It's um, by Anthropology, And it's got like really cute metallic details and all that. And sleeves, which I'm always a fan of sleeves. The next item is a red... The next item is a red Valentino sweater style dress. It's really cute. Um, I don't know why the camera's like picking up all the little fuzz. I have to like still steam these. But it's got the beaded gem detail. And what was funny on this one, I thought um, the original owner put a note on it. Because I see people talking about putting notes on stuff um, before they send things in. And this is a medium size medium sweater dress with cat sleeves and embellished hem. And the person said that they paid $925 originally. So, kind of cool. Then this is an Armani dress here. It's Armani Exchange. What's funny is on this one, this is one of the items that I was like kind of irked about. Because on their ad, it said it was Armani jeans. And... Armani jeans and Armani exchange are two totally different price points. So I was like, really? But they ended up taking care of it and refunding me for it and told me just to keep it. Then this is a really pretty dress. It's like workwear classic. Um, I like the like jagger detail. It's Kay Unger and it's got like the belt detail and everything else. Then this was another red Valentino dress. And this one I had to reach out to them too because it said that it was light new. Like you would mistake it for new. And there was some markings on it. Um, I'm going to take it to the dry cleaners and see if they can get them out. But it's really cute. Pink. But they're not really terrible, terrible. But it looked like a Z-Rack had rolled over it or something. So I'm pretty sure that that's what happened. And then... This next dress is a purple. It's like showing up weird on my camera, but it's dark royal purple Millie dress with like pockets and details and stuff like that. It's really cute. And the back has like a back zipper low detail. And this is just like bread and butter, classic blue J Crew. And then this here is a bodycon style Toby dress that was brand new with tag. This is another Millie dress. It's black silk with like little bow details. Then this, it's funny, I actually sold this item as like one of the first items I flipped for profit on Poshmark. And it's like a dress tunic top from Young, Fabulous, and Broke. It's like tie-dyed. 
then I really love this dress. I, I wish this was my size. I would keep it. It is a Cynthia stuffy dress and it's in, like embroidered like I don't even sure what to call it but it's like really pretty. And this is a Joanna Barashi dress orange color that's really cute with like cap sleeve details. And then just a classic black Ted Baker dress. And then this is a White House Black Market dress, but it's one of their higher end dresses. You can tell by the fabric and it's got the crindoline built in and everything else. And it's just a classic strapless and it was a pretty good size. I think it's like a 10 or a 12. And then this is a size eight Ellie Tahari dress with like jacquard detail and it's got pockets and it's just really pretty. And then this is um, kind of a plaid print, like picnic print, Armani jeans dress. It's really cute. This was another Joanna Barashi dress. It is a silk color. And I don't know why, but I just feel like this is such a cool 80s vibe dress. And I liked it a lot. This is a laundry by Shelly Seagal dress. It's a size large. This is another one of the White House black market dresses that I got, but it's like the nicer style. It's kind of fitted with like this really cool large flower detail. Um, I just feel like it'd be a cute like date night dress or like cocktail party dress. This was another White House black market dress and it was not advertised as being new with tag, but it is. So that was something else is like some of the items were not advertised as being new with tag and then they ended up being new with tag. So I can't really complain about that. This is a 12th Street by Cynthia Vincent dress. It's kind of like a um, really cute bodice detail and stretch back. This is one of my favorite finds. It's very like 80s style with the big bow that's like peep detail. Um, it's boutique Moschino. And it's got purple color with like a zipper back and just classic style. And this is one more White House Black Market silk dress here. This is a silk Trina Turk dress with like a ruffle detail, kind of beaded neckline, not beaded, braided neckline. And then this one here was a Kay Unger black, like kind of taffeta, like short cocktail dress. And this is a Bailey B44 dress with a really cute kind of back, tee back detail. This is a Mark New York dress. And the only reason I bought this is I sold one of his jackets for like 75 bucks. And this one was brand new with tag. So I got it. I could give it a go. This is a frock by Tracy Reese dress. It's got like a one shoulder detail and then it's silk. So it's really nice fabric. This is another frock by Tracy Reese and it's got cute little pockets. And this was a Moschino, love Moschino, um, kind of belted, another 80s kind of style vibe. It's basically brand new. I didn't see any wear on it and the tag thing's like a tag still. And this is a bandage style strapless C by Chloe dress. If I can get my camera to focus. And then this is another Trina Turk dress that's really cute. It's got like a bow detail on the top. And then this I got kind of on a whim, but I don't know. I really liked it. It's BCBG Mac Lazaria and it's kind of ruffled and it's silk fabric. So it's a really good quality fabric. There's a the tag. So yeah, that's it for the dresses that I'm going to show, but I did get a ton more dresses and I'll show you all the jackets and bottoms next. Okay, so the next group I'm going to show you are the skirts and like one pair of the shorts that I got. I got some other shorts too, but I just wanted to like save time and just show you kind of one of them. Um, this is a Love Moschino skirt. It has the $295 retail tag on it and I did not know that this was new with tag. 
This is an HD in Paris anthropology skirt. I thought this would be adorable for Valentine's Day and it's got pockets. Then this is a black Vents classic kind of work skirt. So that's nice. And this is a yellow tweed Millie skirt. I thought this would be really perfect for spring coming up. And it's also got pockets because y'all know I am a sucker for pockets. And it's a size 10. And this is a silk kind of ruffly look J. Crew collection dress or skirt. Um, it's there's the tag for the J. Crew collection in case y'all have never seen that one before. J. Crew collection was like a higher end version of J. Crew for a little while. And this is a Lafayette 148 New York classic kind of tweed work wear skirt. And this is a brand new with tag Ellie Tahari skirt. It's still got the tag on it. Um, I think this is a Macy's clearance tag, maybe not. Uh, 228 down to 102, so still a pretty good chunk of change. This was one of my favorites, even though it's kind of plain, but everybody needs like a classic gray pencil skirt. This is actually Gucci, so that was kind of a cool find, I think. This is another Love Machino skirt. It's got pockets because yet again I'm a sucker for pockets and what was funny is is this still had the TJ Maxx runway tag and the regular like Moschino tag on it it doesn't show like the original price but it says compare it 375 and it was 150 bucks at the TJ Maxx runway it's got like a silk front and different fabric back this I've sold this skirt before um it's got pockets but they're not been opened yet it's Diane von Furstenberg, so cute little DDF, classic black mini skirt. Then this one, yet again, pockets, but it's uh, Rebecca Moses. Super cute, size 12, kind of metallic y, silver gold toned. This is a black, or not black, but it is a beige um, skirt. That's just some fuzz. But it's a beige Reese skirt with like a belt detail and fold over front accent. Kind of cute style. So here's the Reese tag. This is just a basic kind of black ruffle Miss Me Couture skirt. But I've already got this listed and it's got a ton of interest on it already. And then what's funny is this, they had this skirt here. This black James Purse skirt. It's brand new with tag. They had it listed as James Jeans, and I was like, James Jeans does not make skirts. But it's a brand new tag, $135 retail, so that's kind of nice. Just a black kind of bodycon basic skirt. And this is another Moschino skirt. I believe this one was the Moschino. Yeah, so Moschino Cheap and Chic. It's classic black kind of pleated. One more Moschino. This is a velvet Moschino, and I loved the detail on the back. It's got like a little heart detail. But yeah, so it's Moschino Cheap and Chic. And this was really cute. It's a Nanette Lapore skirt. It's got the lace detail with embellishment. So there's that. And this is one the pair of shorts I was going to show y'all. This is textile Elizabeth and James. Um, I like them a lot because they're kind of embellished and cut off and I thought they're perfect like a festival fashion or whatever is popular right now when they're size 27. Okay, so these are some of the blazers and like sweaters, jackets that I had grabbed. Um, this is a basic Calvin Klein. It's a 14W, it's plus size and they always do really well for me like career wear kind of thing. That's bread and butter. This was super cute. It's an older label and that was like the other thing is like you can't see the labels so you don't know kind of unless you're just really up on when things were released you don't really know so this is just a young fabulous and broke kind of sheer shawl this I really liked um, and it turned out to be a newer tag I believe um, this is Anne Fontaine and I've sold some of her stuff before and it always does really well. And it's just a classic 
sleeveless cardigan with pockets, which I like these a lot. And this is different. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting it to be, but it's still pretty nice. It's an Eileen Fisher. It's kind of like a track jacket, zipper, sleeve, zipper pocket, zipper front, like everything. Um, and I was kind of expecting it to be more of like a blazer from the way it was described, but it's still Eileen Fisher, so I can't really complain. This is a K Unger kind of classic black blazer jacket with like a ruffle detail. I thought the sleeves were nice when I finally got it. Um, the tag is kind of having some issues, so I'm gonna need to repair that, but that's not so bad. Didn't fix that. This is a kind of classic like spring color Lafayette 148 blazer with pockets. Um, it's really soft fabric and cute little button details. And it doesn't look like it was worn a whole lot or washed a whole lot because it's still in really good condition. And this is another kind of bread and butter piece. It's a Michael Kors metallic gold jacket with a big Michael Kors button on the front. And it's a size eight. And this I wasn't sure about, but it's also gotten quite a few likes already on Poshmark. Um, this is a Carlisle kind of moto-ish tweed. I don't know how to describe this thing. Jacket. It's like a greenish tweed with gold accents. I don't know, but it's kind of cool. This is just a basic soft joie cardigan sweater. And then this last one was like a random purchase for me. But I liked the little like floral cupcake embellishment. It's Jaeger or Jaeger. I don't know how to say this brand, but it's got like the little tag thing still attached and it's cashmere. So I thought that that was kind of a nice little random grab because of the embellishment and I'm a sucker for anything like cutesy. So, and plus like niche stuff always tends to sell. Okay, so the last set of things I'm gonna show y'all are some of the pants that I grabbed. Um, the first pair is a, another pair of textile, Elizabeth and James skinny jeans. They have the stud accent, kind of like the shorts I showed you earlier, and they're like a black, they're really cool. And then this next pair of jeans was kind of a surprise. Um, Carmore denim and Carmore shorts always do really well for me. But they, these were listed as new a tag, but it didn't say what the patches were that were on the knees. And it turns out these are an actual real lambskin leather. So these jeans were retailed very, very high. Like I, I need to research and see exactly what they were retailed for. But Carmar denim is like super expensive. And um, the lambskin, I'm pretty sure just bumped up the price. But these are like a really cool stretched in a mid-rise skinny slim fit jean and they're classic color so they'll be kind of in no matter what and then these are some like eyelet love machino pants they're kind of dainty and feminine they were also brand new with tag so that was kind of a nice little surprise because also they weren't listed as new with tag like half the items i got that were new with tag were not listed that way which was kind of cool I mean, some items did have damage that wasn't disclosed, so it's kind of a trade-off, I guess. But, you know, can't really, you know, complain too much. These were just some J-Brand classic gray skinny jeans with distressing. I always do well. And they had a really, really long inseam. Um, so I decided that those were cool find because tall girls have issues finding jeans. Um, these are just some classic MAGA Shoney pants they're a navy blue and they actually have real leather like side end skirts so those were a nice little grab these are one of my favorite finds because i don't think i would ever like source these from a thrift store they are corduroy like lightweight skinny pants with a zipper and they are balenciaga so yeah, I would probably kill over from a heart attack if I found these in an actual thrift store. These are some classic Joe's skinny pant jeans. Um, they're metallic. I don't know how well they're going to do, but they're kind of cool. 
Yeah, I feel like somebody would get these to wear to like a rock concert with like a ripped like Van Halen t-shirt or like a trunk limited t-shirt kind of that style. Um, these are some true religion jeans. They are like a crop. I like the embellishment on them. They're a smaller size, but they still usually do pretty well for me. And a little trick for anyone who doesn't know this, um, when you find true religions and they have a blue back band, this means that these were specifically designed for the true religion outlet or an outlet type store. So like Nordstrom Rack and true religion actually makes specific pairs of jeans to go to the outlets. And then the red tags are regular price jeans that were available in regular price stores. So just like random little tidbit, tidbit of information there. And then I got some Trina Turk kind of casual dressy short pants. I don't know. They're kind of random. I'm not sure about them, but we'll see how they do. These are some more Carmar jeans. They're the flare leg with distressing. And these are basically brand new. Like there's zero wear on these pretty, pretty jeans. And they're also very long. Then I grabbed some Armani straight leg classic pants. They're Armani jeans. They had the little blingy Armani. They had the little blingy Armani jeans detail on them. And they're really cute and they're in great condition. So these I was pretty happy with. These, however, <laughs> were like a random grab. Um, I didn't know much about them. The picture wasn't very good on them. They're, luckily they're Imperio Armani, so they'll still bring like decent money, like not the greatest because they're older style, but they're pretty cool. I mean, I'll take Imperio Armani any day. And then these were kind of a new to me brand. They're a corduroy pant and they are Giada Forte. They're made in Italy and they're from the 2015 collection. So I love me a tag that tells me everything I need to know about a pair of pants. So yeah, and that was it for the pants. Um, but I did get a lot of other pants, bread and butter type items. So like some, some for all mankind jeans, things like that. And I got some shoes and I got a Cole Haan leather belt and a few other things, but I didn't want to make this video like two hours long and bore everyone. So yeah, um, I, I kind of enjoyed it though. It was kind of a cool experience to be able to order all that and have it just kind of delivered to my door. I don't know if it's something that I'm gonna do more of or what, but it was a cool experience to at least do once and see how I liked it. And some like fun couple stuff. And then if you have anything specific you want to see, just let us know. Drop a comment below and just let us know what you'd like to see. We'll be doing more hauls and things like that. So have a great night. Thanks for watching. Are you going to say anything or just be weird? I mean, I'm just going to be weird. Okay. That, that's just it. <laughs> this is my husband. So yeah. Thanks guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and let us know what you want to see. Bye. Bye.